Hey yeah, folks, Quilly Team here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. It is a new hope and today we hope, well actually first we have to deal with some elephants. That's right. But as I say, we hope to check out the distress signal, but we have an elephant event first, which I'm going to do for this masterwork chain shotgun. I think that's going to be okay. It's a little scary, but I think we're fine. I think I've become increasingly more nervous and scared uh, when playing RimWorld, which, you know, honestly, I think is a healthy take. So how many of our traps are set up? Maybe not as many as I would like. Hope I'm going to put you on construction duties for a little bit because you don't have the passion, but you do have the skill. So I want to make a few of these. These are metal traps, so they're expensive to replace, but they do do great damage. They're the best damage, I'm, unless I can make plasteel ones, but I'm not going to do that, obviously. Stone traps are pretty darn close. But we're on a little bit of a time crunch, and the stone traps take a lot longer to build. Yeah, and we're not... I'm going to, like, turn off the auto rearm on these. I guess I should wait until they're all set up, or as many of them as possible. So yeah, I'm waiting until the last possible minute to accept this. I'm just playing it safe with these traps. This might be overkill and therefore a total waste of steel, but I'm scared. We should probably start thinking more actively about cash crops, despite the risk of, you know, bumping up our wealth some more. What's our, are we, we're transhumanists. So yeah, when we get to 81K, they're gonna start asking for um, neural whatevers and things like that, which then our, our wealth really will skyrocket. So we can, if we can stay below 80K, that would be, that would be ideal. And we're certainly creeping up there. We're very close actually. Might it might happen the second we start building our temple, actually. Okay, uh, so toggled all this off. All right, I feel fine in accepting this quest now. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna make sure no one ventures off too far by putting everyone on the walled schedule. Uh, so if we did have pack animals, I would set up a trade caravan right now. Maybe I should start smelting down the lower quality weapons. Hmm. Possibly. One of the things I could do is I could make these, um, this is such a critical. Yeah, I could unlink one of these. I think I will. You. Sorry, where's the, oh, right. These are not linked. Because they're, they're all hitting one default. Okay. I'm going to clear all. I'm going to make you important for ranged weapons. And maybe I'll make this one clear all important for melee rep weapons. So I'm not putting in a, uh, a quality requirement. The super good ones are going to go there. Okay. There's our Manhunter pack of elephants. I'm sorry. What? This is just a random Manhunter pack of cougars. And so presumably the elephants are also about to show up. The cougars are going to go and kill all my spike traps. Son of a... Now they're going to slowly trickle in, but yeah, they're going to... Ah! Uh, honestly, it's a big enough pack. Maybe we want the spike traps, although they're not going to come all at once. Dang it. I'm sorry, and mad emus? Randall, are you okay? Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Huh. I mean, I guess the cover doesn't matter here. Okay, good. I was gonna go and put someone here for a D stack, but I guess I don't have to. Yep, all of our traps. Literally every single one of our traps. Amazing. Wait, you're gonna, you gotta smash through the barricades? I mean, I guess that's fine. Hope to start. I guess go and feed yourself. Okay, you've got some pemmican on you. Great. That's... Wow. 
That's really special. We still haven't gotten the elephants. So now our people are going to be super cranky. Also, you could... You're kind of bleeding to death. Can you self-tend yourself? Well, you're not... Maybe not bleeding to death, but you might get an infection. All right. I mean, this is the way it goes. Some hope. Actually, I'm going to get you to move over here so you can snipe down. Presumably? No? There it is. Is that being damaged? Might be annoying, because they might decide to come through here and then go around. Alright, I mean... That is kind of funny, but I guess it's giving us a chance to get a few shots on them. I mean, not that many, because we're kind of crap. But I guess that's okay. Where are the elephants? Yeah, all our people are going to be so freaking exhausted, tired, hungry. Exhausted and tired. Okay, de-recruit real quick. Give them a chance to get some food in them. Where are the elephants? Where are the elephants? Oh my god. Do I rebuild the traps? Yeah, I mean, I think we try. Goddamn steel traps. Okay. I think we try to build as many as we can. Oh, no, there's the Manhunter pack. All right. Cancel that. Recruit everyone. I guess you can be clumped up. Min, you're not too badly hurt. You're going to have to come over here. Uh, I think the plan will be we're probably going to have to pull back and kite. I mean, we're not looking to melee these guys. I mean, maybe I should plan on it immediately. God, this is terrible. All right. All the gunners, you're going to move back here. Min, pull back a little right away. Move, 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 move. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Why aren't you targeting the people who are closer? Um, hope. Okay, you're still chasing Min, which is good. Liz is gonna get obliterated. Oh, this is about, like, what a terrible outcome. Well, good trader. Uh, okay. Oh, you're in crawl mode, huh? Alright, go in melee. Good. Okay. Alright. Turn off. Okay, good. Rescues are happening immediately. That's great. Unforbid all, including this corpse. There's our masterwork gun. I'll put a high priority hull on that. Wow, that sequence of events was designed to give me a heart attack. Okay, tending is going on, which is good. Uh, you know what? Tend to yourself. Just because we need a little bit more speed. All right, Hope's being looked at. So you lost a leg in that, Hope. My god. Well, I guess plan cyber up the heck out of Hope is going to start soon. Now, Hope doesn't... In a mad gazelle? Okay, that's not the end of the world. There's no one out there right now. Just put a forbid here. I know, like, I could change the... Well, yeah, let me change everyone to Wald only. After all. Okay. Uh, Hope is our most social person, actually our only social person. Oh, there's the gazelle. All right, cool. Well, unrestrict, hug, stay walled. I guess I'll just send someone else. Gomp is up. Go ahead and have a chat. Wow, what a sequence of events with all these crazed animals. I'm very much looking forward to doing some big trades here. In fact, I think I'm pretty okay with selling off, like, a substantial amount of rice. 
Okay, these little stacks of leather that are too small to do anything with. We could sell off a bunch of the ambrosia. I mean, or I'll sell off the ambrosia. We could sell off a bunch of the tea. Um, what can we buy from you? Prosthetics research. It's only normal, so it's not great, but let's start going on there. Um, hoping for better entertainment. Shooting, oh, shooting XP is one we have. Medical XP, you know what? Yeah, let's throw that in. This is a good quality, so intellectual and mining. Sure, plus, I mean, it'll just help our research. We might go and sell some of these back later. I realize it's going to be at a loss. But remember, every trade we do is at a loss, so it's all... All of these are theoretically bringing down our wealth a little, but in the hope being, it's going to convert it to wealth that is more useful. So we're going to buy... Uh, we do have a ridiculous amount of components, but... Actually, maybe I'll, I'll buy your two advanced components. Oops, I didn't mean to hit the all button. But yeah, we're still going to buy a bunch because we always want components. Perfect. Although, at some point we want the silver for our sterile stuff. Or we could just do a steel floor. That works too. Let's get that stuff hauled in quickly, please. This is just... Okay, dead rabbit. Oh yeah, I keep seeing this thing and thinking of someone's head. The dead rabbits just look like someone's head with poofy hair. All right, we'll do some rebuild there at some point. Hope's up, but again, moving quite slowly now. Hope, I'm going to get you to equip the Masterwork Chain Shotgun. Or I'm going to give it to Liz. It was probably, what, just doing a machine pistol? Or are your weapon still lying around? Okay, Liz is still down. Did you lose a leg or anything from the elephants? No. Did anyone else? No, but we want the Bionic Eyes as well. It would feel a lot better if we had more consistent extra defense over here, but I mean, yeah, I don't know. I might have to plan to get some auto turrets. Last few times we've done without auto turrets because auto turrets take a lot of material. They tend to get smashed pretty quick, but they're also a good distraction in the kill box. So it might be important to set some of those up. Smogger. You're digging at steel. Honestly, you're like the best person to come over here and drag these bodies because you won't be bothered by any lug rot or anything like that. Although maybe I should let you finish that job. I don't know. But we'll get you to start moving some things out of here. I mean, it's just to the stock. Maybe I should. Hold on. Should I move the cork stockpile here? That kind of makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Zone. Dumping stockpile. Just for rotten corpses. So no fresh. Just corpses. Um, I'll leave it on normal. So this one's also set to normal. Because if I set it higher priority, th things will get moved back and forth. But because of proximity, things should be brought here first. Let me actually shrink this back so it's not taking up some of this door space. Yeah, you know what? Let's make a nice diagonal here. I mean, there's this, but that's okay. All right. Repairs, that's fine. Hope. Were you also doing medical? Probably, because everyone's got medical enabled. Bookshelf's nice and full. All right. We'll need another one soon. But we're. I wonder if you can stack multiple bookshelves and keep getting more and more of a research boost. Hmm. might be useful. All of these went and rotted to Scaria. That's a shame. It would be nice to get a little bit of meat from that. But we are getting some, and it's all being pemmicaned. Gomp's cooking is up to a six. I mean, the pemmican is allowing us to train the cooking, because normally we'd be training it by making, you know, meals, which we're clearly not doing. No one's gone and reshuffled our weapons around, because this is, this is our ranged weapon. That's our melee weapon. Um, I think we are clearly going to need more shelves. A heat wave. That's fine. I don't have a dedicated cooler in this bedroom. But I think with the last heat wave, we were pretty okay with this. So I might not be too worried. We'll see. And it's possible the freezer won't be a freezer. It might be just a refrigerator for a little bit. But I think we can put up with all that. It'd be great to have this room cleaned up.
All right, do I want to move things around so our research is happening more actively? Since apparently we need to get ourselves up to bionics. Well, it would be prosthetics first because we don't even have the advanced tech lab. We haven't advanced in research for a while and that's not ideal. Liz, can you get up? Good, grab that. Thank you. Oh, that's a single pemmican job. Because we don't have enough bulk um, meat anymore. Although, hold on, um, Gomp. I'm gonna get you to prioritize butchering here, buddy. These corpses are rotting out. Okay, 38 outside, 21 indoors still, that's good. A little warmer over here because the vent doesn't go super fast. That is turned off, which is correct. And yeah, I don't want the vent here normally because I'm not normally bothering cooling this down, whereas I do always want this cooled down, but we might get the sweaty debuff, but I don't think we're going to get hypothermia. It'll We'll have to keep an eye on, on, on Petra, though, because presumably the baby's a little more sensitive to things. I do have enough material to go and set that up. All right, you know what? I'm convincing myself, especially with the baby here, that we're going to go and get this going. Smogger. Oh, it's confidence on construction, right? Yeah. Come over here. Now, deconstructing the wall will expose it to the outside elements for a bit, which is why it's going to be very important to make sure you are actively working on this cooler, please and thank you. Because, yeah, it's super hot in here. Yeah, moving to a safe temperature. Psychic suit. Okay, good. That's up, or not, well, Psychic Sooth, good too, but the good thing was, okay, this cooler is up, because uh, Hope was having issues finding a place to put Petra because there was no safe bed, but now it's going to be okay. They might have tucked him into one of the normal beds temporarily. Where's Petra? Oh my god, you put Petra in the freezer? I mean, I guess that's safe? <laughs> I mean, just to balance things out temporarily, that's weird. On the shelf with a bunch of meat. Okay, but now, oh, even here, it's actually having a hard time maintaining comfortable, but that's okay. It should at least be safe. Yeah, we're 30 degrees in here. Heat stroke a little bit because they're working outside, but they've got a safe temperature to retreat to. Should I get an extra one? I think it's okay. I think with their um, dusters and things, is this a duster? Just a different style of duster, isn't it? You're wearing a flak jacket. Do I want to explicitly exclude the ability to wear flak jackets? They are great defense, but they mean you can't wear the duster. And I don't always love how that works out. Oh, what's my timer on this? Okay, 4.3 days. Okay, we're still good for now. That's okay. Because I do want to check that out. Yeah, those are decayed to skeletons, which at least they're no longer, you know, stinking up the air. Whether or not we haul these doesn't matter too much anymore. I mean, I'm sure at some point someone will get around to it, but there's no reason for me to rush. That was pretty miserable, but you were hungry, tired, all those things. How's your age? One year, six days. Pug, how you doing? Okay. Ten and a half. All right, the forced weather, but we completed this quest. It's just 16 days of fog, which is fine. The floor is mostly clean. We do need a little bit more storage, especially when some things get moved around here. Do I want to keep building shells? I think so. Uh... I have to be whenever you do anything with rotational symmetry, you have to be real careful that you're not drawing any weird shapes. Okay, we're we're gonna be fine here. This is fine. Uh, is this how I would continue it? How do I want to be make the next level? Actually, I think I'm gonna start this way. Yeah. You know what? I'll just extend this full one over here. It's gonna be fine, and then we'll do that. I was like, do I want to keep going in the straight direction here? But no matter what, it was going to break at some point. So that'll be the plan there. We do get microelectronics. It'd be great to get some trade ships. Do I set up a trade caravan? I don't like doing it if I don't have pack animals. You can't bring as much. And you're going to move very slowly because everything's going to be heavy. You work on Panoxiclin? Good. That's Pug, huh? 
I guess you don't need intellectual for the panoxiclin. Just a regular crafting job? Ah, because some of these do need um, do need intellectual skill. Maybe making actual medicine does. 53 outside, 20 indoor is not bad. 23, 24, 25 in here is very manageable. A little more harvest for some more wood. Okay, we've got 600 units of wood stored up. Maybe I, this is going to be a constant drain of wood, but we do have a constant income of wood. Maybe I could plant more trees. I'm going to go and put wooden traps in here again. Now that is... So that's 400... Five, let's call it 500. So I think it's 495 wood to set all these traps up, which we do currently have. The question is like, how often do we have to reset this and how much wood is going to get used? But what am I using wood for? The beds, the biofuel refinery, but that's not even that constant. Okay, we might be okay. I might be okay to run the, the wooden traps. There's still going to be times when we'll probably run out of wood completely, but it'll come in at some point. Be great to set the trap rebuilding as super low priority but that's not really a mechanic. Inspired trade. Okay, that's good. We still have some injuries. Um, Hope wouldn't be going out to the new site anyway, so her missing a leg isn't the end of the world. And then we'd leave, we'd probably pug behind, certainly Petra, and send everyone else out. Once Liz is fully recovered, that might be our go. And actually, you're, you're pretty much fine. But yeah, we may as well wait for full recovery. You know what, Pug, you can help as well. I know, like, you're crap, but everyone's crap. Rare thrombos. Um, I'm going to ignore these on the basis that we might get a few wounds, and that'll slow down our ability to go and check out the other site where weird shit is going on. And I want to see the sites where weird shit is going on, because that sounds like great fun. Anyway, we definitely need more stockpiles. That's fine. Blocks should be... Okay, we're still waiting on some sandstone for this. Yeah, you know, I think I'll switch. My, my walls will be limestone. We'll, we'll stick the sandstone for furniture because it still builds a little faster, but the limestone walls will be a little tougher, and I guess that's going to be okay. I won't use marble for the walls. We'll just use it for the floor. I think that's going to be fine. If I had to replace stuff, I might even consider replacing all this, but you know. okay, you're going to come in here, eat a bunch of my crops, and generally be annoying, but I'm going to keep ignoring you. Build some wooden traps there. Okay, the fence is back up too, which is good. Heat wave is over. Great stuff. Liz is fully healed. Okay. Um, heat wave is over. That's great. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just give us another night cycle over here, and then we'll head out. Making Devil Strand Dusters. How's your crafting skill? Nice. Nearly 11. So as we get Devil Strand Dusters, I think that will really be the signal for let's not wear flak jackets. Because I think Devil Strand Duster plus flak vest is going to be better for a variety of different reasons. Yeah, all right. I'll do I'll do it now before I forget. Um, flak jacket is no longer allowed, my friend. Smogger's got imp... Ooh. Should we get you to make a gun? Yeah. Okay, good. I mean, I'd love this to be an assault rifle at this point, but we don't have the tech. But if we can get ourselves a masterwork, I mean, or we might even get lucky and get legendary. Probably not with a crafting skill of 10. We are going to get plus two levels from the inspiration. If he was a... He? She? I don't remember. He uh, was a... Everyone, everyone's in it. Um, if he was a production specialist, which we don't actually have available to ourselves right now, um, then I think there might be a chance because we'd be getting plus three levels. Certainly there'd be a chance of a legendary and I'd, I'd, I'd wager to say almost guaranteed a master work. In this case, I'm going to say, I'm just going to eyeball, I'm going to say 50-50 master work versus excellent. I'm going to say we get at least excellent. Somehow this, this ends up being good. That means you rolled what? Poor? Yeah, poor plus two would be good. Yeah, that would be horrific. So we're hoping you roll good, and that goes all the way to Masterwork. So what you up to? Sewing areas over here. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, I think the tree... So I mean, planting a tree is not very quick, but with the growth period being fairly long, I don't think this represents a very labor-intensive task. 
All right, what you got for me, buddy? Come on, Smogger. Give me something masterworky. I was gonna say, give me something good. No, I want something masterwork. Specific. Oh, people are hungry because this isn't full. Yeah, all right. Um, we got excellent. Okay, hold on. Can do this. People are getting hungry again. Let me reset everyone. I'll put a little high priority hall there specifically too, but there you go. Put stuff in the hoppers. Wait, why are you putting it on the shelves? Are the shelves set too important? Oh, I can't do their thing. Okay, you guys are going to get critical. The shells are normally preferred. I set those to critical. Or I set those to important. Yeah, okay. So that was actually interfering a little bit with our stacking. Although part of it is just the hauling. We do have a ridiculous amount of herbal meds. Maybe we should sell some of those next time we get caravans that come to visit. Or we research our medical technology. But okay, at least people will get fed. So... You got a normal quality. Good quality. Okay, Smogger, I'm going to upgrade you to this excellent. I wonder if we should bring the Masterwork Chain Shotgun. I think so. Okay, since Hope isn't going into a combat region instantly, we're going to give you the SMG. Good, good, good. Liz, grab this masterwork. And then Pug, I'll get you to grab this. Um, You know what? Hang on. Hope is going to grab this. And then Pug's going to upgrade to the normal SMG. Okay. All right, I'm fine with that. Psychic Soothe is ending. It was nice while it lasted. I think I, I missed the, the night schedule I said I was going to go after. 1.7 days. Okay, we've got to plan this. In fact, I think I'm going to plan this now. We'll probably we'll probably put in a cut here in a sec. But, so. There you go. Petra and Pug stay behind. Everyone else is going to go. Travel supplies. Yeah, pemmican. 2.4 days of food. Should be plenty. Maybe we could bring more. It's an overkill. Let's do this. 3.3 days of food. I mean, it's still overkill, but that's okay. Let me bring more medicine. Go, go. Oh, wait, I brought hope. Remove from caravan. There we go. Okay. There you go. Pug, Petra, hope, stay behind. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, we'll put the cut in here. Next episode, the caravan's going to go check out another place. I wonder if it's going to be another, like, fleshy, beastie thing. Or something completely different. We'll find out next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.